Now, the next thing we would like to be able to do is to calculate the volumetric flow rate in a pipe that is carrying laminar flow. And here we run into uh, the problem that now the flow velocity is non-uniform. Um, we cannot simply uh, specify the, uh, the flow in terms of a single velocity. Well, actually, more on that later. It turns out that we can still um, evaluate uh, a meaningful average velocity, but in order to do that, we first need to be able to calculate the total volumetric flow rate uh, that's taking place in the pipe. And again, this is a, a piece of classical uh, analysis which I'm not going to reproduce uh, here. It's all in the notes. And again, the classical method of dealing with problems like this is to split the problem into smaller regions. So what we do is to consider the whole of the cross-section of the pipe to be made up of a series of concentric uh, annular uh, regions. Um, have a look at the diagram on the top of page uh, 9. That gives you the idea. And for each of those annular regions, we can apply the, the formula for volumetric flow rate because we can easily say what the area of the annulus is. And from the laminar flow uh, velocity equation, we can say what the velocity is. And what we need to do is to integrate across all those annually, integrate across the whole uh, area of the pipe. And again, cutting to the chase, uh, this is the result that we obtain. Okay? So we get this by substitution of the velocity uh, relation uh, into the volumetric flow equation for all the elements that make up the, uh, the flow cross-section. Again, uh, a very standard uh, technique that we apply in all sorts of related uh, problems. Now, there's one more thing that we can usefully do to make these equations a little more uh, user-friendly. Um, at the moment, uh, the equations are expressed in terms of the uh, pressure gradient, dp uh, dx, and it's useful to express that in uh, a slightly more practical way. So again, by thinking of the element of the pipe and how the pressure gradient uh, relates to uh, the larger situation, if you like, the, the pipe as a whole. One of the things that comes out of the analysis is that the pressure gradient is constant uh, along the pipe. And so we can relate the pressure gradient, dp dx, to the measurable and manifest uh, change in pressure along a length of pipe. So that takes us from the, the differential relation dp to dx to an altogether more practical measure because it's easy to measure the, the pressure at two locations in the pipe and get the pressure drop uh, as you see it there. Now, using this relation, we can recast the uh, flow rate equation in order to actually figure out the pressure drops in these flows, which is one of the more useful things that we wish to know. We can do the same uh, substitution for the uh, velocity e equation Incidentally, so we can now calculate the uh, pipe velocity in terms of um, what you might call global variables like the length of the pipe and the pressure drop again, uh, along the length of the pipe. Doing the same for the volume flow equation, we get this equation which relates volume flow to pressure drop along a length of the pipe. And that's arguably the most uh, useful form uh, in which to have the uh, relation. Um, as a final flourish, since what we're often concerned with is the, 
pressure drop. We just want to rearrange the uh, equation to make pressure drop the subject. Okay? So uh, these pair of equations, and, and particularly the pressure drop equation here, they really constitute uh, the sort of classic results of uh, analysis of laminar flow. Okay, now the next section in your notes um, is headed average velocity. And that just takes the analysis one stage further. If we can figure out the volumetric flow rate, then we can calculate the average velocity that that represents. Okay. And there's another interesting uh, result uh, of laminar flow, which drops out right at the bottom of the page. So right at the bottom of page 10 is... Uh, the relationship between the average flow in laminar flow and the maximum flow velocity. Okay. And it turns out that the average flow velocity is just one half of the maximum velocity uh, in the pipe. And that's a relationship that's occasionally uh, useful. Okay, so going back to um, the, the beginning, uh, if you like, um, the issue at the beginning of the lecture was to find ways of evaluating the pressure drop term in Bernoulli's equation so that we can do practical um, flow problems uh, incorporating friction. And now for the particular case of laminar flow, we're in a position to do so because we've got the pressure drop term for uh, laminar flow that we can now use to complete the, the Bernoulli equation. The icing on the cake is that when we know the flow uh, the volumetric flow, and we know the pressure drop in a pipework system, then we can determine the power that is required to sustain that flow in the pipe. And again, this is explained in rather more detail in the notes, We're now on page uh, 11. By just considering uh, an element of fluid, uh, then you can figure out that the power consumed or the power uh, required to sustain uh, a fluid flow is just the product of the pressure drop and the volume flow rate. Now that is an extremely useful um, relationship, not least because it's so beautifully simple and therefore I allege is easy to remember. Okay. If you came away with nothing else from this lecture, then I think I'd like you to uh, come away uh, either remembering or resolved to remember that the power in a fluid flow or the fluid power, if you like, is the product of the pressure drop and the volume flow rate. That crops up in all sorts of useful uh, places. Come to think of it, that should not be at all mysterious because uh, we are already familiar with something called flow work. Okay? Um, in a flowing fluid, flow work, the product PV, uh, is a term that uh, appears in the steady flow energy equation. Um, and you can see it's directly related to this. Uh, power is the rate, if you like, of expending flow work, product of a pressure and... Uh, a rate of volume flow. Uh, 